the game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the MyTown TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the MyTown Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. live at James A. Anderson Gymnasium on the campus of Ashland Blazer High School in Ashland, Kentucky, otherwise known as the center of the basketball universe. I'm Chris Pullum, and tonight the Ashland Tomcats return home for the first time since last year's thrilling Elite Eight run at the KHSAA Sweet 16. The Tomcats opened up on the road at Harlan County on Saturday, and while they managed to leave Harlan alive, now they also left with a loss to the state championship contenders. And although they stumbled in their opener, the spotlight shined brightly on Liberty commit Xander Carter, who poured in an impressive 39 points in their opening game. Tonight, the Tomcats are hungry for a rebound, seeking a balanced attack in all positions. In front of the home crowd, they face the McGoffin County Hornets, a team that is one and one on the season. And joining me in the booth, well, it's none other than the human search engine, Tyler Rowland. And Tyler, welcome back. It's been too long, buddy. Thank you, brother. Gosh, always a joy to be on the call with you. And and from I guess I guess I could say literally from day one, it always has been. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ashland, it's a new look Ashland. Uh, they enter this season in an unfamiliar position, and that is the last, well, let's say the last five years. Ashland has walked out for game one with one of, if not the best, point guards in the state of Kentucky uh, running the show. And, and now with uh, Race to Board moving on to Kentucky Christian, where he's doing great this year, by the way, it's left up to Cam Davis. And Tyler, those are some big shoes to feel, fill, aren't they? They are. And it, it takes, especially for you, a younger point guard and Cam a sophomore, it takes a longer time to get that development. This is a team that right now they'll be a tough out for anybody they play. But by the end of the year, I think they'll be a team that is deadly and in contention to do something that I don't know if it has been done, winning six regional titles in a row like that. Mm -hmm. But they, they have a lot of talent, and especially if Xander can be utilized more at the wing position and he doesn't have to come off at help at the point, the better they'll be. You know, we, we remember Cam Davis back when he was an eighth grader playing up on the varsity at times. And, you know, he was – slightly built and was pushed around a lot, but you could tell he had good command of the ball and played with his head up. Uh, even last year, I think you could say maybe Cam was a little undersized to play the guard position and got pushed around a little bit. He showed up for football this season a completely different human being. He's put on at least 10 pounds of solid muscle, and that has to help him in basketball, doesn't it, Tyler? Football definitely should serve to be a good confidence booster for Cam. He was a powerful runner this year, one of the leading leaders in 4A in yards per carry. And on the basketball court, he's going to be, I think he's going to find himself in a much better position this year just with his ability and his strength because when I, when I first saw him 
it was against Louisville Ballard, and that was a team that returned a majority. This was two years ago from their their from their Final Four team, and they were missing Colin and Cole. Cam had to step in as an eighth grader, and he didn't do a bad job mm -hmm. against their press. And if Cam can come and, and look at him now, I mean, I think the more experience he gets, the more confidence he gets. And by the end of the year, I think you're going to see a very mature player on the court for Ashland. Speaking of uh, confidence and maturity, last season towards the end of the year, it was Braxton Jennings who established himself as a dead-eye sharpshooter and a lockdown defender. How important is he going to be to this Ashland team? I think this year, like, like you mentioned, that defense is, I mean, it's important to have a player that's so good defensively. I remember years ago it was Matt Thomas as an eighth grader that stepped in and filled that role. And it's so important when you have a player like that. And Braxton, he brings a unique element to the team, just his fearless ability in the clutch. You saw it in the state tournament. And even though he's known as a defender, he's shown to be able to score in bunches. I remember being on that Russell game last year with you, Chris, and and he, he and I remember him coming in and said, talking about his defense, and then he hit like five three-pointers. Yeah. <laughs> and so Braxton has an ability to score that, and I think that will be relied on more for this year's team than it was last. You know, and the one, uh, Asher Atkins, who will start tonight as a senior, number five for the Tomcats, about 6'4", is getting a lot of offers uh, to play football next year at the collegiate level. But Asher Atkins has really grown into a reliable option offensively and defensively, and he's not afraid to uh, mix it up around the basket, is he? No, and Ashland's one, Asher's one you could call the utility man for what he does because he brings a lot to the table, like you saw on the rebounding end. He does a good job defensively. He hustles. He dies for loose balls. And he's somebody that makes the extra play mm -hmm. that doesn't always show up on the stat right. sheet. Uh, Nate Freeze is the one I'm, I want to know about this year. I want to see him play. He has benefited the past two years, especially last year, the second half of the season, playing that two-man game with Race to Board. You know, Nate was very effective last year. Is that transition in the point guard position going to affect his ability to impact the game this season? I think early in the season, you'll see some chemistry issues that hit, as, as of course typically happens with a new point guard that comes out. But I think it took a while for him and Race to get to develop, and mm -hmm. really it was around the regional tournament when everything started to click. But once it does, I think the time ha passes and he gets more used to it, then, he'll, then that'll be a great combo for Ashland. We're about eight minutes away from tip-off here at James A. Anderson Na Gymnasium. We're going to take a break. It will be the Tomcats and the McGoffin County Hornets starting at 7.30 right here on My Town TV. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family-oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now 
at pathways-ky.org. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. I'm Chris Pullum with me, Tyler Rowland. We're about five and a half minutes away from tipping things off. And Tyler, the one player we didn't talk about in the first segment was the man who knocked down his, a career high 39 points against a tough, tough Harlan County team on Saturday. And I'm talking about the junior Liberty University commit, Xander Carter. You think about the long way that Xander has come, Chris. Thinking back to the very beginning, he came in, you saw his potential, he could shoot the basketball. He lacked confidence, he lacked strength <laughs> to get there, and you knew that was gonna come. And it's just been a thing of beauty to watch since seeing him develop that. He has become somebody that's become a, he's a fearless leader. He attacks the basket, does an excellent job getting to the line for the three-point play. He still has that great outside shot. And his commitment has been all around because all mm -hmm. the way to his free throws, his game has improved over the years. And that is a player that has shown dedication across the board, on the court, in the weight room, and is an example of what it takes to be a complete basketball player. We're going to take another break. We are about four and a half minutes away from tip-off. It's Ashland and McGoffin County right here on My Town TV. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs, and uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Hey, this is Greg Jackson on behalf of the Putnam Stadium Restoration Foundation. For a while, we've been attempting to raise funds for our stadium project, and our thankful Clark's Pump and Shop stepped up to fill the gap to make artificial turf a reality for next year. Go Cats! It's tailgate time in the bluegrass. Uncle, Uncle Rick, Rick, what are you doing? doing? I'm getting ready to make my announcing debut. And I believe that's football time in the bluegrass. But you can believe this, Clark's has everything you need for a winning tailgate. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Stand under the mistletoe. Put presents under the tree. But if you drive under the influence, you could end up under arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. I felt like I didn't matter at my past job and Regroup helps me to feel like I am important and that I have meaning and purpose. If you really want to 
feel like you are important um, and feel like you want a home, um, some place that you can talk to anybody about anything, I think Regroup is the place for you to work. Like we're a team and we're a family and I feel just like I'm welcomed here and I'm loved here and I feel like I matter here. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball. We're about to tip things off here as both coaches giving final instructions to their teams. It's Ashland and the McGoffin County Hornets coming to you live from James A. Anderson Gymnasium. We're going to throw it down courtside to the legend Chuck Rist with tonight's starting lineups. There you have it for McGoffin County. It's number 10, Ethan Salyer. Number zero, Walker Russell. 14, Zane Whitaker. Number five, Grayson Whitaker. And last season's leading scorer, averaging 21 points per game. Number two, Aiden Barnett. That rounds out the top five for McGoffin. For Ashland, it's going to be Xander Carter, Braxton Jennings, Nate Freeze, Cam Davis, and Tyson Lalone. So Tyler, are you ready for another basketball season? Oh, it's going to be an exciting atmosphere here. <laughs> James A. Anderson Gymnasium can't wait to get it going. It's going to be Zane Whitaker jumping it up against Xander Carter to start things off. Davey Anderson with the toss. Tip controlled by Ashland, and here's Cam Davis walking across the timeline, guarded by Grayson Whitaker. Carter on the drive, drops down to Freeze. Braxton Jennings, three ball corner, no good. Rebound controlled by, ended up being Walker Russell who pulled it down and here's Barnett. Whitaker, Ethan Salyer now will reset things for the Hornets. Grayson Whitaker on the wing. Salyer. Barnett now up top. Russell. Up, no good. Rebound controlled by Freeze. Carter quickly up to Davis. Skip pass, Freeze on the trail. 
Jennings off the free screen. Nothing there. Lalone now over to Xander Carter. And Cam Davis will reset things for Ashland. Shadowing Carter pretty well. There's mm -hmm. an Ashland trying to hit him on the cut. Lalone off the curl, kicks to the corner to Davis, up fakes, one dribble in, 17-footer, got it. Cam Davis opens up the scoring for Ashland. And good look of confidence from Cam mm -hmm. Davis, and that's something he's developed over the years. He has a good mid-range shot. Salyer on the wing. Barnett. Whitaker will let it fly from three off the front rim, controlled by Davis. Here come the Tomcats. Lalone, jab step, drive, nice drive. Just couldn't get the finish with the right-hand finger roll. Here comes Barnett, pushing tempo. Carter there to pick him up. Rises and fires, up and in. Aiden Barnett. And that's what, if I'm McGoffin County, that's who I look to get mm. going is Aiden Barnett. 21 points per game last campaign. Davis on the drive, foul on the way up, no call. Rebound controlled by Grayson Whitaker. Ahead to Russell. Russell on the drive. No good. Rebound freeze. Freeze will bring it up himself, the big fella. Tried to kick back to Lalone, but it was Walker Russell who was there. Barnett now on the drive. Had it knocked away by Jennings, and it went off of Barnett's knee, so Ashland will have possession, Tyler. So each team with a turnover here, here early, and... Right now, Ashland playing, coming out and playing a controlled pace mm -hmm. early, it feels like, trying to move the ball around and, and find a good open shot. Reed Meadows now on for Walker Russell. Meadows, who played sparingly last season for the Hornets. Their sixth man this year, Lalone, three ball corner, no good. That rebound controlled by Barnett. He's going to bring it up himself against Jennings. Barnett, three. Got it. Aiden Barnett now with five, the only five for the Hornets. And Ashland will have to step out on him much sooner because he can hit those all day. Kick to the corner. Lalonde will let it fly from three. No good. Rebound controlled by Barnett. Whitaker, three ball, wing, no good. Rebound to Lalone, kicks to Jennings on the wing, who will let it fly. The bank is open at James A. Anderson Gymnasium. <laughs> We're tied at five. Good pass from Lalone, and that's what Ashland loves to do. They love to hit those corners. You especially saw that back mm -hmm. with Justin Bradley and Tucker Conway, players like that. And that's always been a staple of the running game. Salyer out front to Meadows. Barnett, he'll let it fly off the screen. No good. Rebound controlled by Freeze. I have him for three already. He's done a good job being physical, and that's what he's got to do. Xander Carter misses the floater. Ashland two for eight from the field right now. Zane Winokur on the wing. Here's Salyer. Tried to turn the corner on Davis. Couldn't get around him. Barnett now. Barnett again. Gets the screen from Jennings. Good help from Carter. Barnett turns the corner and gets the finish on the right side. Ashland quickly back up in transition. It's Tyson Lalone with the finish and the foul. The foul will go against Ethan Salyer. And Lalone will have a chance at the old-fashioned three-point play. Should we even call it that anymore? The three-pointer has been around so long. It's all old-fashioned <laughs> at this point. Back iron, no good. Knotted up at 7, 3.05 to play in the first quarter. Salyer, Whitaker on the wing. 
Asher Atkins rises from the Ashland bench. He'll check up at the check in at the next opportunity. Corner to Grayson Whitaker, three ball, no good. Zane Whitaker able to tap it to himself. Here's Grayson Whitaker on the 12-footer, no good. Rebound Cam Davis and Ashland on the move. Quickly up to Lalone. Lalone challenged by Barnett, and Barnett will pick up the foul. That'll send Tyson Lalone to the free throw line again. And Ashland, they're going to be figuring out a lot early. And as we mentioned with Cam Davis, with some new a new point guard, some new players, and Lalone, of course, who's picked up a co couple college offers over the summer. Mm -hmm. But one thing to remember, looking back, I think of some of our region, regional championship teams, you look at 2001, that team started 7-7. Seven and seven. 2002, that team started 3-4. and four. Of course, mm -hmm. 2019, that team was, I believe, 13 and 15 at the end of the year. So they're going to have some growing pains early on, but the key is to be patient, and they're going to have a serious shot at the end of the year. I notice you left out the 2021 team, mm -hmm. the 33 and 0 team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that team's on another level. <laughs> so Lalone gets one of two. Here's Barnett. Challenged by Freeze. Freeze got him on the arm on the way up. That's Big Nate's first. First team foul on Ashland. And something about McGoffin County, Chris, to, to add, what a tough district they mm -hmm. play in, the 57th district. You have Johnson Central, you have Paintsville, yeah. you have Martin County, all three of whom have state tournament Absolutely. appearances in the last five years. But McGoffin fared well last season, and I think with, from a coaching perspective, with Coach Castle running, going yeah. in the right direction. Yeah, 16 and 11 last season with a tough schedule. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be ashamed of. They lost a nail biter in the, mm -hmm. the 57th district opening round. Here's Davis on the drive, kicks to the corner. Asher Atkins spins, nothing there. Now Xander over to camp. James Mayor also in. Ooh, they had him on the roll. Instead, it's Asher Atkins in the corner, and he's going to get called for the forearm in the face of Aiden Barnett. So that's Ashland's second team foul. That's something they'll watch on film there. When Cam turned the corner, the defender got caught in no man's land. They had Mayor for the lob behind the defense. Just missed him. And here comes the zone from Ashland. They like to run that when Mayor is out. Meadows, Grayson Whitaker to Barnett, Barnett, Zane Whitaker, ball loose on the ground, James Mayor will get called for the foul. You know, it looked like a loose ball they were both going for. Good to see the big fella get down and dirty there early, isn't it, Tyler? Yeah, he hustled. I think he got around the leg when he was going for the ball. And but that but that's always good to see somebody dive on the court. Mm -hmm. Something that James has made an, an exceptional improvement on. He moves a lot better this year. You know, he's he was late to the game with basketball. He's been playing now. This is I think his fourth season playing organized basketball, and you've seen him develop over time. I know he sometimes gets a little frustrated, uh, but, uh, you know, it, the game moves pretty quickly, and just to learn how to read how the game is played, especially on the defensive end, that, that takes experience, and, you know, he's getting it now, and, and you can see a difference in the way he plays this year. It does. It takes a type of instinct that you mm -hmm. have to develop, and an instinct that always only grows by playing games. Walker Russell trying to get around Carter. No luck there. Mayor with the challenge on the three. Rebound Asher Atkins quickly up to Lalone. Finger roll up and in. Lalone now has five, and he gets rewarded for running the court. Carter got a hand on that one, but it went off Grayson Whitaker. It will be Ashland's ball with 55 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Each team's with two over uh, turnovers apiece, and Ashland early looking to get out there defensively and try to jump those McGoffin County passes. Davis across the timeline. Carter now, Atkins on the wing. Carter using the screen from Mayor, kicks out to Davis. Davis drops down to Mayor, just wasn't ready for it off his fingertips, and it will be 
McGoffin County ball, 40 seconds remain in the quarter. Meadows out and Ethan Salyer back on for the Hornets. And that'll happen, he just has to shake that off mm -hmm. and even to the best of big men and that's a part of the chemistry development. Ashland sticking with that zone, really extending out past the three point line. Possession will go back to McGough, and I thought that was off Barnett, but one thing I, kn I know, Davey Anderson is a better referee than I am. So I'll go with his call, 15 seconds. Salyer, Grayson Whitaker, nine seconds left. McGough needs to do something here, seven, six, they need to go, three. Russell, corner, three, no good. And after one, it's the Ashland Tomcats 10, McGoffin County Hornets 7. We're going to take a break. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. An uncharacteristically low scoring game so far in this one. The Ashland Tomcats 10 and McGoffin County 7. And Tyler, your thoughts on the first eight minutes? I feel like if I'm McGoffin County, I'm quite comfortable with the way this mm -hmm. pace is being played. And I feel like that they've done a good job dictating the tempo. I'm a little bit concerned looking at it if I see it from the perspective of a McGoffin County fan just with Barnett. I mean, as good as it is that he gets involved, as great of a player as he is, he has, I believe, all of their points. So, yeah. I mean, I think, of, of course, that's with, with Barnett. You. He, I think, though, he's a special player. So, I think as the game goes on, we'll see more of the other guys get involved on that end as well. Bad pass from Russell. Couldn't connect with Whitaker. So, it will be Ashland's ball out of bounds. Davis will take a seat. He gives way for, I believe, Lalone, who's back on. And McGoffin only shot three of 12 in that first quarter. Xander Carter showing his class on that finger roll. Makes it 12-7, Tomcats. Salyer kept the dribble alive. Looks back door to Grayson Whitaker, who just was a little too far under the basket. Nice pass from Xander Carter. And it will be Ashland's ball out of bounds underneath. A pretty nice defensive play there by Aiden Barnett, too, to get the block on the loan. Ashland will go with a four flat set here on the inbound play. That was good timing on his jump and good use of his hands. Carter on the drive, gets the step around Salyer and fouled by Salyer, so that was on the ground. So will be Ashland's ball out of bounds underneath. And we talked a lot about Xander Carter in the open. Carter, a Liberty University commit. We've been here before with Liberty University commits. He'll play next year alongside Ashland legend now. I think we can call him a legend, Colin mm -hmm. Porter, who's having a, a fantastic sophomore campaign for the Flames. Yes, Colin Porter, unbelievable. Two turnovers in five games against three teams that were in the NCAAs. Freeze drills the three in the corner. Ashland out to a 15-7 lead now. 6.45 left in the half. 
Ashland two for five from downtown. Barnett out of position, but I'm going to say he was bumped. And Aiden Barnett will go to the line to shoot two. And that foul will go against, I believe that was Asher Atkins, Tyler. That's his has, second. That's his second. That's where Asher has to be a little bit careful. That is something mm -hmm. he has a, had a tendency to have happen in the past. But it is good to have a defender like Braxton mm -hmm. Jennings subbing in for him if you're Ashland. But Barnett, just such a great all-around player. And, I mean, if I'm a Goffin mm -hmm. County – this game, I mean, he don't have to necessarily score. He certainly can, but I try to get him some touches on every possession just to get that defense thinking and, and facilitate the offense through him. So it's Ashland 15, Aiden Barnett 9. Here's the loan. He'll let it fly from the wing. No good. Rebound Whitaker over to Barnett. Shot off the mark, rebound by Freeze. Carter pushing tempo. Just lost it at the last second, so that will be an Ashland turnover. McGoffin County has only hit one of their last nine shots. And Noah Sammons, I missed him coming on. He is on playing the wing over here in front of Ashland's bench for the Hornets. There's Sammons, he'll let it fly. Three ball, no good. Rebound, Carter. Quickly up to Brax. Brax on the drive. Kicks to Clark in the corner. Now it's Freeze. Clark, Lalone. Nice find from Caleb Clark to the cutting Tyson Lalone. Ashland with two more, 17-9. And Ashland's starting to heat up. They've hit six of their last eight field goals. And that is seven points on the game for Tyson Lalone. He's leading all Ashland scorers. And Barnett with another deuce. Make that 11 in the game for him. You just think of how much time he put in the gym just mm -hmm. like to hit that shot. You could see the comfort just with his ability to hit that. Freeze with the offensive rebound but couldn't get the finish. Here comes Grayson Whitaker. Quickly up in transition, nobody picked him up. Whitaker with two. The first Hornet other than Barnett to score tonight. Freeze. Jennings now off the screen from Carter. Leaves it for Lalone, he'll let it fly from three. Front rim, no good. Jennings with a rebound. Step back, three, no good. Rebound Zane Whitaker. Now Barnett. Barnett spins to his left, shot up and in. Boy, that kid could score, Tyler. He is impressive, and 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 that's what the, the colleges look at that so much. Those mid-range shots and just the ability to hit those, and you can see just the, as I mentioned, the comfort level that he has. You can tell it's everyday stuff to him. Clark corner three, got it. Caleb Clark. That's the third Ashland three-pointer in this one. Zane Whitaker looking for some help now. Grayson Whitaker on the wing with Clark on him. Now it's Barnett. Sammons. Bad pass looking for Whitaker on the cut, picked up by Caleb Clark. That's four McGoffin turnovers so far. Freeze. Lalone kicks to the corner. Clark, three ball, no good. Rebound, Zane Whitaker. He'll bring it up himself. Off his foot, it will be Ashland's ball with 2.55 left in the half. Cam Davis back on. And Lalone will take a break. Ashland pushed their lead back out to five on that last basket. I think with this Ashland team, that's one thing you'll see this year, a lot of rotating. They have mm -hmm. the depth to, 
the depth to, to be able to wear some teams down once again. Carter, elbow jumper, rises, fires, no good. Rebound Zane Whitaker. Hayden Barnett now, got away with a carry there. He'll back it out. The good size kid, Barnett. If you look at Braxton Jennings, who's a, who's not a uh, not a pimp squeak out there, Barnett probably has it by 15 pounds, Tyler. Yeah, and that's a running back with close to 35 touchdowns. There's Clark on the finish. Jennings and McGoffin wants a timeout. Caleb Clark's fifth point of the game makes it 22-15. This will be a 30. And Tyler will stay right here. What do you want to see out of Ashland here in this final 208 of the first half? I think if I'm Ashland, I try to try to force tempo more. You want this mm. game. Ashland is a team that likes to run the ball. They like to shoot the three-pointer. And I mean they can run a controlled pace at times, but I don't think that's their main style. I think that for the Tomcats, that's what you want. I mean, it's good to see them going right now and leading a good McGoffin County yeah. team with Xander Carter only having hit one field goal so mm -hmm. far. That's and the first whistle. Both teams giving their warning that it's time to play ball. Mm -hmm. And I think if I'm McGoffin, I come back and I keep trying to keep emphasizing that facilitation, good ball movement. Mm -hmm. You want to get Ashland out of their game, try to get them frustrated. And of course, get you know, Barnett's having a heck of a game right now. So keep running everything through him and trying to try to facilitate the offense accordingly. Asher Atkins back on with two fouls, and Ashland will pick up full court. Grayson Whitaker trying to find room around Cam Davis. He breaks the timeline. Davis got a hand on that one. Whitaker on the drive, finger roll, up and in. Whitaker with his fourth point of the game. And Braxton Jennings answers on the other end. 24-17 Tomcats. Jennings caught with his hand in the cookie jar there. Nashland's hit three shots in a row, field goals, and McGoffin County has hit four in a row. So game's just been going back and forth since it was 17 to nine. Walker Russell back on, this time for Sammons, the senior, he'll take a seat. So looking to turn up the pressure here defensively. Asher Atkins needs to be careful as we have 90 seconds left here in the half, he's on two fouls. And he has the toughest assignment on the floor right now taking on Aiden Barnett. Whitaker just simply lost it. So it will be Ashland's ball with a minute 21 to play. That'll be the 16 McGoffin County turnover. I'll, only, I'll make sure I only have Ashland with two right now. Make sure that's right at halftime. Atkins finds Davis. Freeze down. Pick and pop. Back to Davis. Plenty of room for Davis to drive. Now it's Braxton Jennings. Freeze. He'll let it fly from the corner. Nate Freeze with a three ball. Got it. Big Nate with his second three of the game. Make it a 27-17 Tomcats, Tyler. Yes, and Nate. Nate just showing such good poise on the outside. And it's Ashton's fourth three-pointer. Barnett with a floater. Couldn't find the rim. Uh, Ball loose everywhere. Finally fell into the hands of Zane Whitaker, who was able to gather himself and put it in. Now it's Braxton Jennings. I think he hit the two gap right there on that <laughs> <Yeah>. shot. <laughs> Jennings now with seven. Here's Davis. Davis, wide open lane on the left side with the finish. Cam Davis with his fourth point of the game. And that's six shots in a row now for Ashland that they've hit. Shot by Meadows, no good. Rebound Xander Carter, and that will do it for the first half. A fury in the final 90 seconds sees the Ashland Tomcats pull ahead 31-19. We're going to take a break. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on MyTown TV. 
Uncle Rick, what are you doing? I'm dreaming. Of what? Fall on the bluegrass, days at the track, Nats on the 50 yard line. Well, you want to be at the 50 instead of on the 50. That could be dangerous. But to complete your day, you can count on Clark's Pump and Shop. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Stand under the mistletoe. Put presents under the tree. But if you drive under the influence, you could end up under arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. Something that made me want to work with Regroup was um, the relationships that I have with my colleagues. My leadership and my supervisors are always the first ones to be able to um, help me with anything and I love being able to be entrusted with the responsibilities that I have. But know that if I have problems that I'm able to go to either my fellow clinicians or colleagues or um, my leadership team to help me with any kind of problem. It's halftime here at James A. Anderson Gymnasium, and it's the Ashland Tomcats on top of the McGuffin County Hornets, 31-19. And Tyler, you have some stats. Yes, and Chris, first off, we'll do uh, the ones that stand out to me right now, and the, the correct stats are with turnovers. First off, McGuffin County has eight compared to four for Ashland, and shooting the basketball, Ashland right now 13 to 27, and I mean Xander Carter right now has two points and I mean and of course he's only had to take three shots so far and that's a good sign when you see the other yeah. guys get involved like that and make that much of a difference and for McGoffin County they're eight of 22 from the field 36.4 percent now let's, we're going to break this down a little bit further Aiden Barnett is five for seven one of two from downtown the rest of the team three for 15 for 20 percent oh for six from downtown and then looking at the, we'll just look at some of the other other numbers here that, that are, uh, or some of the scoring leaders. But Barnett right now leading the way with 13 and 19 points from Goffin. With the uh, Whitaker ha has four. And then for Ashland, you have Tyson Lalone with seven. You have Braxton Jennings with seven. Caleb Clark has five. Nate Freeze has six. Davis with four. Or, or shoot, I'm sorry, I'm looking into. No way. My apologies. One has seven. Jennings. You're out of practice, Tyler. Yeah. It's been a while since basketball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Freeze has six. <laughs> Davis has four. Clark, five. And then Carter has a bucket. So just a nice, even distribution mm -hmm. for Ashland. And I mean, seven assists on 13 baskets. And you compare that to McGoffin right now with one assist on eight baskets. So it's definitely been a. Yeah. Definitely some. Uh, some stats that are glaring between the two teams right now. Well, the question we asked in the open was uh, who would step up for Ashland and, and score? On the road, Ashland uh, had uh, nine points from Braxton Jennings and a couple points here and there from others. It was it was uh, Xander Carter with 39 at, at Harlan County, and what we wondered was who was going to step up and start to establish themselves as an offensive threat. And that tonight, well, that question's been answered. You've got Tyson Lalone on seven in the first half, Braxton Jennings with seven, Freeze with six, scoring coming more, a little more spread out than it was on the road at Harlan. So that's a good sign for the Ashland Tomcats as they are now putting together the building blocks for what they hope will be a tournament run. We're gonna take another break. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. 
Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly, they talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV Sports. About three minutes, 15 seconds until we tip off the second half. Ashland up 31-19. Tyler, if you are uh, Coach Castle at McGoffin County, you're in the locker room right now. What do you want to see out of your team here in the second half? You want to see Barnett continue his hot shooting, but you also want to see some of the other guys start to pick it up. And I think that's what he's going to talk over with his team. There, there, there's not a lot of, well, of consistent ball movement with them. They've had eight turnovers. Yeah. They've struggled a little bit finding the right rhythm. And, uh, and Ashland looking to jump passes and try to get steals. I expect we'll see more backdoor cuts coming from McGoffin in the second half. And quickly, uh, Ryan uh, Bonner with his team in the locker room, what does he want here in the second half? I think he wants to try to push tempo more. They they had some good possessions in the first half and only four turnovers. I mean, that's what they averaged around eight turnovers a game when Colin Porter was here. So, I mean, if they, of course, continue to keep the turnovers down and try to get in that rhythm defensively, jump passes and get on the fast break. Here's our final break before we start things in the second half. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Clay with Pollock's Jewelers, and this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs, and uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring.
Hey, this is Greg Jackson on behalf of the Putnam Stadium Restoration Foundation. For a while, we've been attempting to raise funds for our stadium project and our thankful Clark's Pump and Shop stepped up to fill the gap to make artificial turf a reality for next year. Go Cats! And we're underway in the second half. It's Xander Carter who turns the corner after the handoff from Freeze, and he's fouled on the way up, so Carter will go to the line to shoot two, Tyler. That's right, right where they go to Xander Carter. And again, that's where Carter's improved so much, driving to the basket and utilizing his big frame to, to get to the line. Carter with only his third point on the night with that free throw. Struggled, you know, for, for him, he struggled a little bit from the line at Harlan. Only five of seven from the free throw line. He gets both of them here. Ashland picking up full court. Barnett will bring it up against Braxton Jennings. Barnett will initiate the Harlan, check that McGoffin offense. You mentioned Carter struggling from the line a little bit, but that shows how far he's come. His first two years, he shot in the 60s. Yeah. And last year, he made a tremendous improvement from yeah. the line. And I say struggle from the line. I By wish I struggled standards. that poorly from the line. <laughs> oh, same. <laughs> nice move from Barnett for the bucket. Here's Carter on the wing. Davis. See, I'd like to see Cam Davis be a little more assertive there. Once he got his feet in the paint, he, no one picked him up. One more dribble and he's at the rim. Yes, and that, that's, a, that's an important part of it. You have to, that's something you'll learn over the course of the season. Partially blocked by Carter. Rebound Carter. Quickly up to Lalone, all alone. Three ball, corner pocket, no good. Grayson Whitaker with the rebound, double dribbles, no call. Russell, nice ball fake from Russell to get some space to finish. That was crafty move by Russell. And the errant pass from Davis, just miscommunication right there. Uh, kind of in no man's land, you either float to the corner or, or you circle mm -hmm. back up, and that time Lalone just sort of stayed where he was. Davis was expecting him to get to the corner. Here's Salyer. Barnett, nice move on the baseline. Partially blocked by Freeze. Tied up by Davis. That'll be a jump ball between Russell and Cam Davis. And possession goes to the Hornets, Tyler. Yes, and then that's something. Uh, McGoffin doing a good job getting on the boards early this half when they miss. Barnett stepped into that when the foul will be on the floor. Carter took a hard hit there, but he's going to be okay. Yeah, good to see him get up. A nice IQ from Barnett. Um, I mean, taking taking advantage of that, mm -hmm. that moment to draw the foul. Salyer will trigger it. Walker Russell. Whitaker, free throw line, Jay, got it. That's Whitaker's first bucket of the game by my count. Ashland with a 10-point lead. 5.45 to play in the third. Cam Davis turns the corner all the way to the rim. Blocked by Whitaker, but able to get it out to Carter. Carter now on the step through, Euro step. Fouled on the way up by Zane Whitaker. So Xander will go back to the line to shoot two. I was looking to get out there, but that Zane Whitaker, good frame inside, and that was a nice block on that last play. He positioned himself mm -hmm. well and utilized that good wingspan. Carter with his fifth point of the night. And gets them both. Xander Carter now 9 of 11 from the free throw line on the season. As I mentioned, Tyler, struggling from the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right around 81%. Yeah. <laughs> Zane Whitaker stepped through over freeze. No good. Rebound controlled by Cam Davis. Tom Katzer on the run. Lalone.
Here's Carter. Jab step, pulls back, nothing there. Kicks to freeze in the corner. Malone on the curl, finger roll up and in. Nice look from Nate Freeze to find the cutting. Tyson Lalone. Lalone does a great job of moving without the ball, Tyler. He does, and that's that's such an important part. That's why multiple colleges have expressed interest mm -hmm. in him. His footwork alone. I think of on the women's side, Haley Sue Fouch, who was a big part of yeah. those those that four peat in the region in the 2010s. That reminds me a lot of her with that footwork and ability to get open in space. Here's Salyer. Looking for Barnett, spins back to his left, fouled on the way up by Jennings. So Aiden Barnett will go to the line to shoot two. That is Braxton Jennings' first foul. Is that right, Tom? Oh, they put it on Cam oh, Davis. Is. Oh, so I saw the I one. That's I was like, a mistake, but. Barnett struggling from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, and they are the uh, two for five from the line is McGoffin County. And I think for Ashland looking at it, you notice on the court right now, Xander Carter is attacking. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll, as the season goes along, we'll see more assertiveness coming from some of the other players out there. And I know with a star like Xander, it's easy sometimes to get dependent on him. But when, when, he, when some of these – other guys get going. I mean, they'll make some serious noise. Freeze, top of the key, hand off to Davis. He gets the corner, pulls up, free throw line, Jay, no good. Rebound, Ethan Salyer. Salyer able to find Barnett out front. He wants to go on Asher. Atkins drops his shoulder. Atkins with the rebound now. Here comes Ashland. Skip pass to Carter. Lalone back to Carter, wide open, wing, three ball, no good. Rebound freeze. Lalone. Drop down to Atkins. Shot up and in. Asher Atkins with his first bucket of the night. Makes it 41-26 Tomcats, Tyler. Seeing it's, it's, it's late in the third quarter when he gets his first bucket, but you can feel the mm -hmm. impact that he's had Absolutely. on this game. That just goes to show what, a, what an impactful mm -hmm. player he is. Worth noting the defensive pressure from Cam Davis right there that forced the turnover as Ethan uh, Salyer just spilled it out of bounds only because Cam was in his face from the mid-stripe. Here's Carter. Freeze, up fake, back to Carter. Carter's gonna go baseline, rises, fouled on the way up by Whitaker. That's Whitaker's third foul against Carter alone. So Xander will go back to the line to shoot free throws, Tyler. And that's something that you could expect to see a lot this year with Xander Carter, as explosive as he is, his ability to, to get to the free throw line. is That's why that's why Richie McKay wanted him. He mm -hmm. saw the explosiveness, and those are the types of players that that, that he, he looks for at, at Liberty. Well, Xander misses both there. Carter grew some over the summer, put on some uh, quite a bit of muscle mass, but also up to 6'6 now for his junior mm -hmm. year. Barnett, Euro step, shot up, no good. Rebound Xander Carter, and Xander is on the move. Carter through Whitaker, shot up, no good. Put back Asher Atkins, no good. Ball tapped out. Here's Davis, one more, Lalone, corner, three ball, splash! Tyson Lalone. Now five threes for the Tomcats. Meadows with the miss. Rebound, Nate Freeze. He's at about eight right now. Davis off the freeze screen. Back to freeze. Pick and pop. Nate, top of the key, no good. Rebound, Grayson Whitaker. Whitaker trying to go coast to coast. Picked up by Davis. Barnett now. Fouled on the floor. Nope, going to say on the way up by Asher Atkins. That'll be his third. So Barnett will go back to the line to shoot free throws, Tyler. And that just shows, I mean, he got him pretty good on that on the wrist, and he still was able to get the shot mm -hmm. up and to the rim. Just the fa fact that he was able to do that shows how strong of a player he is. Sam Lyons and James Mayor on for Cam Davis and Nate Freeze. Oh. 
Lyons making his first appearance tonight. His grandfather, Les Lyons, is a terrific football player for the Ashland Tomcats back in the 60s. And ended up being a Kentucky Wildcat after his graduation from Ashland. And that's a full timeout on the floor. We're going to take one in the booth. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on MyTown TV. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. And we're back at James A. Anderson Gymnasium. It's the Ashland Tomcats on top of McGoffin County. 44-28 with 2-10 remaining here in the third quarter. And, you know, Ashland now, Tyler, you, you mentioned it. It's Xander Carter starting to get, put his head down, drive to the basket, create offense for themselves, a little more aggressive here in the second half offensively. Yes, and I, th and I think that, that that's something that Xander, that Z Xander knows when to, when to take charge and when not to. Mm -hmm. And he's developed just such strong instincts over the years and has become such a great leader for this team. And it always helps when you have role models like Cole Villers to learn from. Yeah. And Xander, no doubt about, is following right in the footsteps of guys like him, Colin, Ethan, Atkins, and many others. Mayor, top of the key, handoff to Lalone. Lalone, plenty of room, rises, fires, no good. Rebound controlled by Whitaker. Asher Atkins draws the assignment of guarding Barnett again. Atkins on three fouls, looks inside to Whitaker. They're going to get Mayor for the reach around Whitaker. It will be McGoffin's ball out of bounds underneath. Caleb Clark now on for Tyson Lalone. Clark's played good minutes tonight, Tyler. He has. He's run the court well, and such optimism for him as such a young player and somebody that I think will have a, a bright, bright few years with Ashland. Carter now picks up Barnett with 95 seconds left here in the third. Barnett trying to find room around Mayor, steps on the baseline, and no call. So Barnett with the bucket. Clark, corner, three, no good. Rebound tapped out. On that last bucket, Bar Barnett was smart. He used his body as a shield knowing Mayor was right behind him to try to block that shot. I'm not sure. So Sam Lyons called with the foul, and hmm. that is Ashland's fifth foul of the quarter, which means oh, yeah. McGoffin will go to the line to shoot free throws here. Rule change this year, Tyler. Yes, and the way this is going to work, so there's no longer a one and one bonus or, well, I guess you could say double bonus, but – uh, that will reset at the end of the third quarter. Each team will get up to, uh, after the fifth foul in every quarter. Mm -hmm. Then the the team uh, the team that fouls five times, the other team will go to the free throw line to shoot two shots. There's no one and one this year. Can I say I hate that rule? Uh, after calling some games in Virginia <laughs> Beach last week, um, it yeah, I'm right with you. I was curious how it would work, and I'm right with you. <laughs> Lions, corner three, no good. Rebound controlled by Sammons. Over to Barnett. McGoffin trails by 13. Barnett, step back, shot, no good. Rebound, Carter. Under a minute to play, Carter fouled by Barnett in the backcourt. That's the fourth foul against McGoffin in the quarter, so Ashland will have possession on the side. Walker Russell back on for Reed Meadows. Coach Ryan Bonner, not afraid to get his hands dirty. <laughs> Out there doing a little floor maintenance yeah. for the Tomcats. Yeah. 
I miss the days of Jamie Campbell know, out man. there with the mop. I mean, I don't know where he is tonight. Disappointed in him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back soon. <laughs> So a timeout, I believe Coach Bonner took the timeout. It'll be a 30. We'll keep it right here, I'm a, I imagine, with 56 seconds left in the quarter. Coach Bonner probably trying to draw something up to, to run the clock and score here at the end of the quarter, Tyler. Yes, I think you want to try if you're Ashland to get on a run like you did at the end of the second quarter and try to push that lead out. I mean, you have McGoffin County down 13 right now. You don't want to give them a chance to hang around. And, of course, you know this team. They're good. They'll make it a competitive game in the fourth quarter. If I mean, you know, if the store stays around the way it is. Of course, if I'm McGoffin County, I mean, I'm looking to I keep going to Barnett. Yeah. He's feeling it tonight. And, making a lot of good moves. I'm excited to see where his career is going to go. He is, he definitely has, I mean, just an all-around good game from, I mean, his jump shot to his instincts, the way he drives inside and knows how to maneuver through traffic. He's a special player. So Lions will trigger it to Carter. 56 seconds left here in the third quarter. Carter across the timeline. McGoffin in a zone early, trying to match up and trap. Get pass to Asher Atkins, corner to Lyons. Now here's Carter. He's going to back it out, reset things. Not a bad move by McGoffin, switching yeah. it up. Wouldn't be surprised if they switch back mm -hmm. up to man here with about 15 seconds left. Carter, he'll hold it outside. One more to Clark. That's a move Buddy Biggs does a lot. He'll switch to that trapping defense at half court. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Mayor back out to Carter. 10 seconds. It's time for Ashland to go. Eight. Carter wants a screen. Nobody saw him. He's just going to go. Splits the defense. Carter up. It in. Xander Carter. What a move by Carter to split the defenders and finish through the contact to put Ashland up 46-31 at the end of the third quarter. Tyler, your thoughts? That was, that was a play. <laughs> the play didn't necessarily work as it was put together, but Ashland was able to score. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Final eight minutes of this matchup between the Ashland Tomcats and the McGoffin County Hornets. It's Ashland up 15, 46-31. And Nate Freeze will trigger it in for the home team. McGoffin back in a man-to-man -man as Carter crosses the timeline. Jennings, Davis, he'll let it fly. Top of the key, no good. Rebound controlled by Caleb Clark. He'll pull it back out and set up with Salmons on him. He wants the high ball screen from Freeze. Left a little bit early before Freeze got there. Davis now. Nowhere to go. Out to Freeze. Here's Clark. Cam Davis. Ashland with a reset. Carter on the wing, looking for room to go around Russell. Rises up and in. Xander Carter through the contact. And now he has 10. Now he has 10. I'm right. Sure. He, had, he had at he least 10. Eight. 
Sammons. Barnett on the wing with Braxton on it. Zane Whitaker closely guarded by Nate Freeze. Bad pass, but Sammons handles it. Russell now isolated with Carter on him. Takes a dribble and kills it. Roll by Russell, trying to go up through Carter. Nowhere to go. Nate Freeze gets a hand on it, so it will stay with McGoffin. As Asher Atkins checks back in for Caleb Clark, and Sammons will go out, giving way for Ethan Salyer to come back on. Right now, again, looking at Barnett, 7 of 13. The rest of the team, 5 of 21. Here's Barnett, top of the key, trying to find room around Jennings. Spins back through Jennings, shot up, no good. Rebound Xander Carter, Ashland on the way. Davis all alone, wing three, no good. Rebound controlled by Whitaker, over to Barnett. And Grayson Whitaker deep in the corner. Knocks down a three to cut the lead to 14. That was a good find and good show mm -hmm. of confidence from Whitaker. Davis kicks to the corner. Asher Adkins three ball, splash. 51-34 Tomcats. That's a six Ashland three pointer tonight. Nice touch by Zane Whitaker on the 10-footer to get two back for the Hornets. Atkins splits the defense, finger roll, no good. Rebound Barnett. The Hornets now buzzing down the floor all the way to the rim. Barnett with a finger roll finish. He's up to 22 now. Carter. Salyer with it. Forearm shiver to Sop Carter on the drive. <laughs> nice cut by Davis. Great find by Xander Carter. 53-38 Tomcats. Under five remaining. Salyer. That was off the hands of Barnett. But possession will stay with in fact, Barnett even stubbed his finger on it. He's trying to shake it off. <laughs> He'll stay in the game, and Russell will inbound it. Walker Russell looking for Barnett underneath. Mishandled. Now here come the Tomcats. Nate Freeze leading the break over to Jennings. Jennings will let it fly from three. No good. Rebound ripped down by Carter, calling him for over the back. I'm trying, Tyler. I'm um, trying to be. I'm trying to be a kinder, gentler play-by-play <laughs> -play guy this year. I'm uh, trying. I, yeah, but I that get was you, as brother. clean of a rip as you're going to get right there. <laughs> Russell, backdoor cut from Sayer. Ashland going the other way now. It's Xander Carter leads the break. Freeze on the trail. Three ball. No good. Rebound controlled by Salyer. He's in the corner. Gets it over to Zane Whitaker. Whitaker's going to walk it up himself. All the way to the rim. Challenged by Freeze. Can't get the bucket. Now here's Braxton Jennings. Through one defender. Davis, wing. Freeze, trail. Three ball. Got it. Nate Freeze. And he has three of those. Grayson Whitaker. Tried to answer back, instead front rims it. Freeze runs it down. Here come the Tomcats, 3.30 remaining. Carter. He's heating up, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Xander just such a force on the inside. And, and, and that's the thing, when, when you have a player like that, that commands so much attention, and you have the outside shooters. You have people like Adkins, Freeze, Lalonde. I mean, 
plenty of others that can mm -hmm. cause that kind of damage. It just opens up so much for your offense. What you didn't want to see from this Ashland team offensively this year was passiveness. Mm -hmm. And I think in the first quarter, uh, maybe even pr part of uh, pretty much the majority of the first half, that's what you saw on the offensive end was a passive offensive team. And where they've really, since about the about the two-minute mark in the second quarter till now, Ashland has been on the attack offensively, and it has paid off with this 21-point lead with 3.06 left. Xander Carter will check out. You know, this is an Ashland team that, I mean, I think will average into the 70s in scoring. I mean, they'll mm. be up and down the court, and as they get a few more games, especially with their schedule and their confidence grows, you're going to see this team, I think, a very aggressive and tough offense to stop. Meadows to Whitaker. Whitaker spins back, steps through. Nice post move from Zane Whitaker to get the two. His confidence has come a long way mm -hmm. as the game's gone on. It's two and a half minutes remaining. And I'll add on the defensive end as well. He had a good block earlier. Asher Atkins, three ball, back rim, rebound Barnett. Barnett, Euro step, fouled by Freeze. So Aiden Barnett will go to the line to shoot two. So Tyler, so far what you've seen of this Ashland team, what, what are your areas of opportunity for improvement for the Tomcats as they head off on this three-week uh, road trip of basketball games over the uh, – well, basically until the AIT they're gone. With some of it, I think that, that – I think it will be get just the chemistry of getting several new players, some that may have seen the court in the past, but now playing at a high, high level. Mm -hmm. And next, getting that at – like we were talking about with the, the aggressiveness, that has to be on – 100% all the time. I mean, just like on that yeah. take by alone. And I think that that's something that's going to have a, a – a, because you see teams like Boyd, and they're going to play aggressive. They're yeah, going absolutely. to push tempo. And Ashland's, that's what Ashland's going to have to do to be at their best. Jennings came up with it but lost it. Now Ashland will get it back. It's Caleb Clark now on the open floor. Finds Asher Atkins with the finish on the right side. Got Asher for seven now tonight. Step back three, Whitaker, no good. Rebound controlled by Freeze. 90 seconds remaining in this one. Braxton Jennings will walk it up for the Tomcats. Lalone now in trouble. Finds it. Drop down to Freeze underneath, up and in. A three. We'll have a timeout on the floor, I think, just to run a few subs in. So Reggie Bechtel will get his first minutes of the season for Ashland. Number 44, and Sam Lyons also back in. So for Ashland, it will be Bechtel, Lyons, Clark, Lalone, and Jennings, Tyler. It'll be exciting to see see, see them get the, to take the court and get a couple minutes of play, and I think um, definitely, though, a good showing from the Tomcats tonight. I think a good start to the, the at home, just given everything. I mean, they mm -hmm. shook off the Harlan loss, and, of course, Harlan, uh, I mean, the Arlen County team that returned a lot from mm -hmm. last season uh, when they beat Ashland. So um, definitely a tough game to open your season with. Number 13, Parker Bowling on. Turned it over. Jennings with the bucket. 50 seconds remain. Here's Barnett. He'll let it fly from three. Got it. There's no doubt he can score, Tyler. Yes, I think this McGoffin County team, they'll be a team that is definitely a, a threat in the in their region and a threat in the 57th. You know that that's a district that mm -hmm. it's going to be an all-out battle between four very good, well-coached teams. Clark somehow finds the rim <laughs> from a terrible position. Take away by Lalone. He's going to pull it out. And Coach Bonner. 
calling off the dogs here with 10 seconds remaining. So Ashland will go to one and one on the season. And they answered some questions in this one, Tyler. They did, like the big one. Could anyone else find the rim after Xander Carter's 39 point performance against Harlan? And I think we found the answer today. Yes, and this is the team that McGoffin County, I mean, this is a, a type of team that you'll encounter in the regional tournament. One that can can give you a run for your money and play, that, that, can, that can play with a lot of teams. Definitely a, a big win for the Ashland Tomcats tonight. We'll be back to wrap up the final stats in this contest right after this. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. It's tailgate time in the bluegrass. Uncle, Uncle Rick, Rick, what, what are, are you doing? doing? I'm getting ready to make my announcing debut. And I believe that's football time in the bluegrass. But you can believe this. Clark's has everything you need for a winning tailgate. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Stand under the mistletoe. Put presents under the tree. But if you drive under the influence, you could end up under arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. I felt like I didn't matter at my past job and Regroup helps me to feel like I am important and that I have meaning and purpose. If you really want to feel like you are important um, and feel like you want a home, um, some place that you can talk to anybody about anything, I think Regroup is the place for you to work. Like we're a team and we're a family and I feel just like I'm welcomed here and I'm loved here and I feel like I matter here. We're back to wrap things up here from James A. Anderson Gymnasium. It's the Ashland Tomcats 69, McGoffin County 45. Tyler, you've got the number. Yes, yeah, so just going through some things, Chris, looking at the shooting. First off, we'll start there. Um, let's see, it was 17 of 46 for the game was McGoffin County, 37%. Ashland, not, well, not a lot better, 28 of 59 for 48%. Ashland out rebounded them 33 to 29 and also won the turnover battle. Only seven turnovers for the Tomcats, 12 for McGoffin, which isn't horrible. And pretty decent number. Barnett had 27 points and for them leading the way. Whitaker, the Zane Whitaker had a nice game. Nine points, 11 boards. He got more comfortables that went on for Ashland. Xander Carter. Had a double-double, 13 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. And Tyson Lalone led all scores with 16. Um, Nate Freeze had ju ah, just shy of a double-double, 11 points, 9 rebounds. Braxton Jennings had 9, Adkins had 7, Clark had 7, and Cam Davis finished with 6. And also I forgot to mention Russell for, for McGoffin County had a bucket as well. Forgot, apologies, forgot to mention him. Ashland from from downtown, they I mean as good as they looked from their time, they were only seven to twenty-four. Twenty-nine mm -hmm. percent. And I mean, in a way that's a good sign. If you can beat a good team like McGoffin by this caliber without shooting well from downtown, I mean, you don't want to see him shoot like that every game, but that's a good sign to beat a yeah. team the caliber of McGoffin shooting like that. McGoffin went three of thirteen from downtown. And, I mean, the big thing for McGoffin, I think, I mean, they were outside of Barnett. It was 9 of 17. The rest of the team was 8 of 31 for just over 25%. And for Ashland, I mean, it was a good, good all-around balance, mm -hmm. good 
a lot of good ball movement. They had assists on 50% of their baskets, 14 assists on 28 baskets. So a lot of things to be optimistic about. I know one thing Coach Ryan Bonner is thankful about, and that's that the gas prices have dipped a little bit recently because the Tomcats are on the road for a while. They don't play at home again until December 28th in, against Ohio County in the opening round of the Ashland Invitational Tournament. Next up for them, they're on the road at South Point on December 9th. Then they go to Pikeville. Then they go to Fairview. Then they go to Chapmanville. Then they're in Campbell County for the Care Spring Holiday Classic which will see them take on Campbell County, Eastern, and Highlands. And then finally back here on the 28th against Ohio County. And, you know, the, quite frankly, the reason for it, Tyler, is that the local teams won't play Ashland. Yes, and, and that's going to be uh, – that certainly makes things interesting. But honestly, and I say this – come if our team, the caliber of an Ashland of Boyd County – I think it's favorable. It may not be sometimes from a cost perspective, mm -hmm. but to be able to try to get some wins yep. down in Rupp, you have to play the teams the caliber of Absolutely. the ninth region, the fifth region. I mean, you've got to travel and play the Cats of the world and Highlands. Those are the types of teams that are going to make you better. They're character builders for sure. And We're going to wrap things up here from James A. Anderson Gymnasium for Seth and Alex. Our production crew, I want to thank Tyler Rowland for joining me tonight. I'm Chris Pullum. And until next time, so long, everybody. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family-oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you. You know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org.